Welcome friends. In the lecture series of digital electronics made simple. In the first lecture we will see the basic logic gates. There are the three types of basic logic gates. OR gate, AND gate and NOT gate. First we will see OR gate. Friends, what is the OR gate? The logic gate which output is high when minimum one input is high is called as a OR gate. To construct the diagram of the OR gate, two diodes are required. Suppose D1 and D2 are the two diodes. Two inputs A and B are applied like this. B input is given to the diode D2 and A input is given to the diode D1. Connect the cathodes of both diodes together and then Connect the load resistors are here. Here we get the output of R. This is the complete diagram of our data. Now we will see the working of the data. There are the four inputs possibilities. Why there are only four input possibilities? Because the base of the binary number system is two and number of inputs are also two. Means two raised to two is equal to four. So there are only four input possibilities. So first input possibility, suppose case one, Suppose if A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0, that means both inputs are 0. So the voltage and the amounts of both the diodes are also 0. The voltage and the cathodes of both the diodes is also 0. So both the diodes D1 and D2 rem remains reverse bias. Hence, no current flows through the diode D1 and D2 and hence, no current flows through the load resistance I. By also, the output voltage Y is equal to I into I. And as I is 0, so output voltage is also 0. That means, Y is equal to 0. Consider the second case. If A into the 0 and B into the 1, then there is the high voltage at the angle of diode D2 and low voltage at the angle of diode D1. So diode D2 becomes forward bias while the diode D1 remains reverse bias. Hence, the current flows through the diode D2 and through load resistance I and no current flows through the D1. As the IL flows through the RL, means IL is not zero, therefore Y is also not zero. That means Y is one. Now consider the case number three. If A is one and B is zero, at that time, there is the high voltage at the angle of diode D1 and low voltage at the angle of diode D2. So, diode D1 becomes power bias and D2 becomes reverse bias. So, the current flows through the diode D1 and through load resistance R. 
Again, the load current is not zero. Therefore, output is not zero. That means output is one. And the last case, case number four. If both inputs A and B are one, then there is a high voltage at the anodes of both the diodes. In this case, both the diode becomes power bias, and the current flows through the both the diodes and through the load resistance area. Again, we get output Y is equal to one. Friends, the logic symbol of our gate is like this. Draw the three curves on the left hand side. Show the inputs A and B, and on the right hand side, there is the Y output. Now, truth table. What is the truth table? The table which summarizes all the input and output conditions is called as a truth table. So, in the truth table, there are the two inputs A and B, and output is Y. The Boolean equation of the OR gate is y is equal to a plus b. So first case zero zero output is zero. For zero one output is one. If a is one b is zero again output is one. And last case if both inputs are one output is one. According to the Boolean equation. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one, one. One plus zero, one. One plus one is one. Here, one plus one is is not the arithmetic operation. It is the logic. High plus high is equal to high. So one plus one is equal to one. This is the truth table of the argument. In the truth table, see, the output is one when. If minimum one input is one, so this is the working of the R gate. Now we will see the second gate. That is the and gate. And gate. You know this is the diagram of R gate. So to get the diagram of the end gate, little modification should be done in this diagram. First, reverse both the diodes D1 and D2. Like this. Connect. The resistance R and reference voltage source V R. This is the diagram of end gate. And what is the end gate? The logic gate, which output is high when all inputs are high. It means if any one input is low, then output is low. Again, we will see. The working of the end gate. There are again four input conditions. First condition, case number one. If A is equal to zero and B is equal to zero, it means at the cathode of both the diodes there is the zero voltage, and at the anode there is the high voltage due to the reference voltage. So the diodes D1 and D2 both becomes power bias. And the current from the reference voltage source flows through R and diodes D1 and D2 towards the ground. Hence, no current flows through the load resistance RL. It means IL is zero. So, by one spot, output voltage Y is zero. Case two: If A is equal to zero and B is equal to one, so at the cathode of the D2 diode, high voltage. And at the cathode of D1 diode, there is a low voltage. In this case, D2 becomes reverse bias, 
and given because for the bias. So the current flows through the diode D1 towards the ground. Again, no current flows through the load resistance RL means IL is zero, and we get the output voltage Y is equal to zero. Case number three. If the input A is equal to zero and B is equal to Y, then here at this cathode there is the high voltage, and here at the cathode of the diode D2 there is the low voltage. So in this case, diode D2 becomes forward bias and diode D1 becomes reverse bias. So the current from the reference voltage source flows through R and diode D2 towards the ground. Again. There is a no current through the RL. Again, we get the output voltage Y is equal to zero. In last case, if both inputs are high, means one, so there are the high voltages at the cathode of both the diodes. Hence, both the diode becomes a reverse bias. No current flows through these diodes. So the current from the reference voltage source. Flows through the load resistance area. In this case, I is not zero. Means output voltage is not zero. That is a one. The logic symbol of the AND gate is similar to the capital D. Here are the two inputs A and B, and output is one. Now the truth table. The Boolean equation of the AND gate is A dot B or A into B. So first we get 0 into 0 is equal to 0. 0 into 1 is equal to 0. 1 into 0 is equal to 0. And 1 into 1 is equal to 1. See the output column. Here output is high only when both inputs are 1. Why it is called as the AND gate? Because output is high when A and B inputs are high. A and B. The word AND comes in between the inputs A and B, so it is called as the AND gate. Now we will start the NOT gate. What is the NOT gate? The logic gate, which output is high, where input is not high, means low, is called as a NOT gate. We can construct the NOT gate using transistor. Suppose this is the MP transistor. It is the base resistance RB, collector resistance RC. Here is a ground. Here, for biasing plus VCC is at the And at the base, there is the input A. Take the output from the collector. Y. This is the diagram of not get using transistor. Now see the working. As there is only one input. There are only two input possibilities. Case one: If input A is equal to zero, here input A is zero means base voltage is zero. Also, the voltage at the emitter is zero. So the base emitter junction of this transistor becomes reverse bias. So the transistor goes into cutoff and hence no current flows through the transistor and resistors RC. As there is a no collector current going through the collector resistors RC and transistor, so there is the VCC. Voltage drop across the resistance RC. 
So all given voltage is drop across the resistance RC. Suppose the first case, if A is equal to 0, that means the input voltage A is equal to 0. As the base voltage is 0 and the emitter voltage is also 0, so the base emitter junction of the transistor becomes reverse bias. Hence, the transistor goes in cut -out. And no collector current flows through the resistance RC in transistor. As the current is zero, so there is a zero voltage drop across the resistance RC. So this voltage plus VCC appears at the output, means Y is equal to one. So if A input is zero, then output Y is one. Case number two: If input A is one, here apply. A is equal to 1 means there is the high voltage at the base and zero voltage as the emitter. So base emitter junction becomes forward bias and base collector junction becomes reverse bias. So the transistor goes into saturation. Saturation means maximum collector current flows through the resistance RC and transistor. As the collector current is maximum, so there is the maximum voltage drop across the resistors are same. Maximum means the given voltage plus VCC drops across the resistors are same. So by which of voltage law, the output voltage is 0. Therefore, we get output voltage y is equal to 0. See, if the input is 0, output is 1. And if input is 1, output is 0. It means it inverts the input voltage. So the NOT gate is also called as the inverter. The symbol of the NOT gate is like this. Here is the A input and here is the Y output. 